Hi guys, my name is Monish and this is my brother Yunish. Hi. So today I'm going to tell you about how to generate electricity from magnets. Oh, magnets. I know about magnets. Magnets will attract metals. And magnets have two poles. The poles are North Pole and South Pole. Do you know anything else about magnets, Yunish? Yes. This is a proper magnet. Wow. And we have two poles here. That are North Pole and South Pole. Guys, do you know that you can make yourself your own magnet? To make your own magnet, you will need a power supply, a coil and a piece of iron. So guys, let me show you a small demonstration on how to make a magnet. We have power supply, some connecting wires, copper coil and a metal piece. So guys, when there's no power supply going through this copper coil, the metal piece is not attracted because there's no form of magnetic field. But when there's power supply, Yunish, please connect the voice. Okay. But there's when power supply, a magnetic field is created and the metal piece is easily attracted by the copper coil. And when it's disconnected, Yunish, please disconnect the wires. Okay. It falls down. So guys, the summary of the experiment is the power supply and the coil, which is both of these, attract, um, created a magnetic field which attracted this metal piece. In 1831, Michael Faraday investigated on his theory on generation of electricity using magnetic field. He used a solenoid and moved it rapidly through the space between magnetic poles. It induced current. Okay guys, we have shown you how to make a magnet by an uh, electric and a coil. Next, I'm going to show you how to use a magnet and copper coil to produce electricity which is the right opposite of the premium demonstration we both have shown you. So Yunish, I'm going to show you how to produce electricity from magnet. How? Very simple. You just need to have a magnet and a copper coil. But to measure the electricity produced, I'm using a ammeter. So Yunish, when I put the magnet on top of the copper coil, the copper coil is magnetized. But when I remove it, it's demagnetized. The continuous action of magnetizing and demagnetizing causes electric current to flow through the wires. But as you can see, the current produced is less than 1 milliamp because the size of the copper coil and the magnet. Today, we are going to demonstrate Michael Faraday's theory and this is our plan. We have used two coils instead of one in series connection because it produced low current. The two coils produce AC current, but LED light only works on DC current. So, the current that is produced by these two coils are sent to AC to DC converter and then the current is sent to the LED light which makes it glow. So, Yunish, what are the materials needed? The materials are some wires and some copper wires for coil metal bowl, screw, magnet, wire connector, LED and some tools. The tools are hot glue gun and wire cutter. So, the copper coil is coiled around this metal bowl. This copper coil is then connected to this terminal. This terminal is connected in a series connection with both of these coils. These both of these coils produce AC current. The AC current flows through this wire to this AC and DC converter. This AC and DC converter produce DC current. The DC current flows through this wire and to the LED light which makes the LED light glow. 
So, when the magnet is pinned on top of the coils, the coils are magnetized and demagnetized continuously. This produces AC current. As the magnet spins on top of the coils, the coils are magnetized and demagnetized continuously, which produce AC current. As you can see, the current produced is not enough to light up the LED light. So, I have fixed a DC motor here to help me to spin the magnets faster and produce more voltage. So, as you can see, the voltage produced is higher and the LED light is blown. So guys, we have done what Michael Faraday did 100 over years ago and we just did this small demonstration with things we found around the house. You can do it too. Thank you.